Hello and welcome to your general reading for the main energies of the week that starts on 19th till the 25th of September. We are approaching the final part of September. Right now we are under the influences again of Mercury retrograde and the uh, Pisces full moon <laughs> that uh, happened, let's say, more or less seven, eight days ago. How are you feeling it? <laughs> also, at uh, the end of this period, on 26th of September, we're going to have actually a new moon in Libra. Libra, it's to do with uh, relationships and uh, for all of us, this might pop up in some area of our life. Generally speaking, we are uh, going to uh, get into a completely different energy once we hit uh, the end of this week. So let's see how the energies are going to go for this week of 19th till 25th of September. I'm going to look day by day. And uh, I remember that uh, the previous week ended up with uh, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands was the energy that was promising very, very busy week to follow. So we are in the very, very busy week to follow. <laughs> to do with business, uh, projects and uh, communication, meetings, uh, networking, all kinds of things to do with uh, very, very fast, rapid developments. So let's see how the week is going to unfollow, unfold, how it's gonna basically happen for all of us. So Monday, Monday, energy, Eight of Cups, watery energy, watery energy that speaks about things that are, that are hard to carry on, that are getting so tight, so um, heavy, that we are living the situation. Monday, it's the beginning of the week, so as a start, you might think for the rest of the month of September, what situations do you really want to leave? Where would you like to find yourself at? What is your biggest desire? Because the next card to follow after this one is Nine of Cups. is the card of a dream come true. So think about what, what makes you dream, what gives you the idea of the better you, what makes you happy in your mind. This might be the compass for you living any difficult, emotionally unbearable situation that you might find yourself at in Monday the 19th. So, Tuesday, new emotion, new emotional offer. Maybe you find uh, new inspiration uh, from a colleague, from a friend, from somebody, somebody around you. Or for some of you, you might be actually uh, Knight of Cups, it's an uh, <laughs> emotional uh, proposal from somebody that has a romantic love interest to you. So. Again, emotional energy, watery energy, but it uh, uh, some way, in some way uh, pushes us to go move out of this previous situation of uh, um, emotionally unbearable things that we have to carry and we actually probably left in Monday. So Tuesday, Night of Cups. Wednesday, The Hangman. So, we might hit a roadblock in Wednesday. Generally speaking, the emotional situation Monday and Tuesday might actually uh, not give the needed results. So we might be uh, in a situation in which to kind of feel that we have to sacrifice something or we, some of us might found ourselves in a, in a situation in which we just hang and wait for the better to happen just because we are not in a position to see right here, right now, what is the best uh, solution to whatever might be disturbing us. But in any way, we're going to have a, like a temporary slowdown. Use this time to go through things and uh, try to look at them from a different perspective. It might be very helpful and it might put a smile on your face one way or another. Then in Thursday, things are getting better. Probably the efforts that you put it in uh, Wednesday are going to pay off because all of a sudden you will know 
you will be led by the stars <laughs> to find what is the best solution to do with your overall situation with your uh, it might be actually a solution to a health problem uh, issue that you have with your mental or physical condition it's gonna be uh, solved in a successful way this is what this card is promising also in uh, Thursday we might find ourselves looking some way that we haven't uh, thought before or we might find uh, some circumstances are not so uh, unfortunate <laughs> or find a big a bigger meaning into what has been happening around us so Thursday a very positive day you use it it's also the day of Jupiter so if there is a what I say to my um, in my private readings to all my clients I say if you have something important to do that takes extra courage extra push of luck from the universe do it in Thursday Thursday is the day of Jupiter it always gives me good results but let's see Thursday then in Friday a new beginning <laughs> it's like Mercury retrograde this should be the energy of Monday <laughs> not the energy of Friday but anyway most of us probably found the needed inspiration to go on uh, from the not so easy emotional start of the week of the 19th so by 23rd we already uh, we already know what we have to redo uh, what we have to approach with the more uh, light energy not so um, traumatized by the things that are uh, happening anyway but just find uh, a connection with our inner child because it's always one of the best sources of inspiration and a fresh new approach to things so Friday actually is gonna give us a in a way new start new beginning more innocent one or we just might feel like we are completely fools <laughs> because you know it might not go the way that we desire but in any way take a leap of faith in Friday then the ones that took the leap of faith in their mind in their consciousness in Friday gonna have very fast and lucky developments into the circumstances around them it might be a trip that pops up it might be a longer walk but in any way it's a, a momentum of happiness of good fortune when things can happen unexpectedly for the better use it use Saturday for these energies maybe you go out and meet people that you haven't met before who knows it's just a, a good way to approach the weekend with uh, knowing that uh, things actually can develop in a benefit to you so in Sunday analysis paralysis this card it's eight of swords <laughs> basically uh, I'll take it as an advice don't push yourself too much to think about the things that you cannot see or you cannot understand right now and uh, just don't be easy on yourself you're not gonna get the answers that you need most of them in September that's for sure uh, this year has much more to offer by the end of it uh, so don't go into this loop of mm, what should I do how should I do it but there are so many unknowns yes there are too many unknowns for you to even go through it all over and all over and all over in your head you're just gonna go mad so Sunday please avoid this energy of the eight of swords and then the overall energy for the next week to come with the new moon in Libra and I, this is why I love tarot because this is three of uh, three of pentacles and I already said that the new moon in Libra is actually all to do with partnerships uh, with the others with our relationships to everybody else but ourselves like basically everyone and the next week is under the energy of cooperation uh, getting together solving a problem with uh, uh, people that are experienced like uh, work to uh, rebuild something that uh, needs to be you know taken care of and uh, really this uh, uh, is gonna be like uh, uh, more easy and more productive 
uh, more go for energy just because we might find ourselves in uh, surrounded by more friends and enemies one way or another but of course it's up to us we should always take any energy uh, and uh, do the best with it so this is all from me for this week of 19 till 25th of september uh, as usual please leave comments uh, like and share this video and let me know what you want to hear in it or what else would you like to um, have included or what the format should be i'm really really curious to find out all the best of luck from me and see you for the next week reading bye